Hey folks, welcome to another episode of D20 Sundays. How's it going? Uh, this is the last D20 Sundays for D in December, so I'll be back in two weeks after this. Uh, so, as a setup to the story I'm about to tell you, uh, please remember that a few uh, videos back I mentioned something about pulling things out to your rear end because the players decided to go do something because it's there and having to be prepared for every possible scenario. Okay, so the story is from before I started doing that, back with my original group that I first Dungeon Mastered for. Uh, the ones that I liked uh, bragging about with uh, Steve and Phantasmio and Salty Noah and Rohan. Uh, those guys. Uh, the ones that Chris and Jay from Double Blanks Gaming were in. So, this event that happened was not fully what I had planned. What I had planned was for them to essentially go into this town, see that it's in a terrible condition, that, you know, there's guards shaking people down, and they were going to try and help this town get out of the situation it was in. Uh, that didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. Uh, instead, uh, a few sessions before, the wizard had used burning hands to create a scroll of burning hands and he rigged a a small coin purse to where if anyone opened it it would immediately cast burning hands on them he wasn't too worried if he opened it because he was a flame wizard like a flame elemental wizard and he had fire resistance like to a ridiculous scale so he he had no worries if like he opened it and it burned him he was like ah oh, okay I'm just out a few new gold coins I can make another one um so, you know, they get to this town, they arrive on a cart, and the four of them are like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll just stop at this town. Uh, it looks like crap everywhere. The only decent place is the, the, the castle in the distance, and it's probably, like, some big important noble lives there, and the rest of the, these people will get the short end of the stick, but fine, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll just stop in town, you know, buy some new uh, rations and everything and just go on with our adventure. Uh, well, as soon as they get to a shop where they believe they can buy rations, they're stopped by the guards. And the guards are like, hey, you know, there's an adventurer's tax. You know, if you're passing through the town, you have to pay a tax. It's obvious it's a shakedown. And one of them does a sense motive check, and he's like, yeah, this is a shakedown. And unfortunately, that someone was the wizard, Phantasmio. Uh, the wizard then is like, oh, not a problem. Uh, here, this this should cover uh, all of us. And he hands them the trapped coin purse. And the guard opens it up to look inside and immediately gets burning hands cast upon him. I think he ended up taking like 15 or 16 points of fire damage. And it's like, okay, sure. Uh, so... They end up just running. They, like, jump back on their uh, cart, and they just, they go, they go. They just leave. They go as fast as they can to get through the town. And more guards show up trying to stop them, chasing after them on horseback and everything. So, if I remember correctly, the cleric, Rohan, was driving. The rogue was on the back with the wizard, and the, the rogue was shooting arrows at the horses, so that way he didn't have to kill anyone and hopefully just, like, injures the horse and makes it, you know, go, like, stop or turn over so that way it doesn't keep chasing them. Uh, and that's when the wizard decided that he was going to use his staff of fireballs. And I was like, are you sure? You're on a bumpy cart, you know, moving and everything. He's like, yeah, I got it. It's like, okay, uh, you're going to take a small penalty to your, uh, your aim for, you know, aiming your staff. He's like, okay, that's fine. So he rolls it, and he rolls a big ol' four. I was like, okay. Is that with modifiers or without? He's like, oh, no, no, no. That's with modifiers. It's like, okay. Okay. Because he rolled a nat one. So I was like, okay, let me get my, uh, my, my, my little chart here. See what happens. Start rolling dice, trying to figure out where the fireball goes. It ends up hitting the castle. He ends up launching it, like, far to the side and striking the castle, blowing off part of one of the towers. 
and he falls over and almost falls out of the cart if it wasn't for uh, the... Uh, I can't remember what he was playing at the time. It was Steve, who was the fourth member, and I can't remember who he was playing at the time. But essentially, he grabbed Ventasmio uh, before he fell out and pulled him back in. And, uh, like, they get away. They, they get away to the, like, you know, the guards stop chasing them because it's like they're getting too far away, and they obviously have magic and stuff. And we've already taken a few hits from the, the bow. So I was like, okay. I just start ripping pages out of my notebook in front of them. Like, just rip, rip, that, that no, rip. And mind you, with this group, I did that like two or three times that I've had to rip out pages. And my players were like, oh, I think Ian had a big plan for that town. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's like, nah, we can't go back there, can we? I'm like, no, you guys are wanted by the by the law now. And he's like, ah, great. He's like, well, I didn't want to pay them because I didn't want to be shaked down by rotten, corrupted guards. It's like the group starts, you know, arguing with Fantasmio. It's like, you couldn't just actually have paid him. Instead, you gave him your trapped coin purse and set him on fire. Needless to say, uh, they never went back to that town, and uh, like I like I said, I had great plans for that town. They, they were going to help them, uh, you know, remove the the corrupt official that was over the town, and essentially get someone more admirable put in. And that didn't work. None of that worked. We ended up skipping essentially ahead. To, about two sessions worth of material and uh, proceeding onwards. I, I That's my example of things don't always go the way you want. And players will at times, sometimes a lot of at times, ruin the best laid plans. You had a good hook. You had them, you know, get a shakedown for them to realize that th there's a lot of corruption here and hope that, you know, their sense of honor and, you know, goodness will be like, well, we got to get rid of this corruption. And that just went out the door because, you know, the wizard set one guy on fire and told everyone to run and everyone listens. Yeah, anyways. That's my story for today's D20 Sundays. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I will once again be back in two weeks for the next D20 Sundays as this is the end of De December. It has been wonderful for me. Purely because not only the holidays, but because I got to share a bit more of my history of playing Dungeons & Dragons with you. So I hope you like and subscribe and come back for another. Laters.